Hello, Hopkins High School. I'm Chris Pomeroy. Right. And wait, right. wait, you know no, 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 no. Yeah. Hello there, Hopkinton High School. I'm Kemper Lin, and for everyone here, welcome to HHS Today. I'm excited to get this episode going, so let's dive right in. First on the agenda, we have a segment we're calling HHS Tech Minute. Take it away, Mr. Scott. What we do here at Hopkinton High School is we utilize uh, CAD programs like Fusion 360 made by Autodesk, and the students will develop uh, prototypes uh, for various projects that they're doing, and they'll have the opportunity to print out on a 3D printer. Uh, the printer technology, just think of it like a hot glue gun that knows its X, Y, and Z axis points and it deposits material in the places that it needs to. Print this size, uh, this is a student that printed out a uh, fire helmet recently for a fire department project. Uh, that took about five hours to print. So they do take quite a while to print out, um, but the students have some freedom in the design which is nice. Um, another recent project that we did recently was uh, to modify an Altoids tin. And this is an example with a, uh, a fishing tackle box that was created. Excellent. If you have any questions, I'm sure Mr. Scott will be glad to answer. Moving right along to our question of the day, we asked, what is your worst injury? Take a look. What is your worst injury? My worst injury is Jack Brennan broke my nose three different times. I got a concussion. My worst injury was when I got my finger stuck in a treadmill. My first injury is when I uh, broke my finger in seventh grade. When I was six years old, my cousin threw a hammer at my head and I got a concussion. Uh, my worst injury was uh, five weeks ago when I broke my wrist. What's your worst injury? Um, I have torn my left ACL two times. I guess you could say those were pretty humorous. <clears throat> For me, my worst injury was in the first grade when I fell on the floor and broke a few of my teeth. But despite that, I never needed braces. Up next, we have a message from Be Free Club. Here it is. Uh, Be Free started in 2006, and we host uh, fun events in order to promote a substance-free lifestyle. And a lot of the fun events we do is like our fall jam, where we had over 200 people who came, and then upcoming we have our coffee house in December. Another fun thing we do is uh, handball and basketball, which are two other non-musical um, events for uh, people to participate in that give people a chance to be substance free. I'd just like to tell you that Miss Murray and Mrs. Gleason are club advisors, so if you have any questions, you can find them in the guidance office. My name is Connor. We meet in room 2A218 on Tuesdays. See you Tuesday! I guess we'll see you Tuesday. Make sure to check them out. Now, as many of you know, our seniors recently had Senior Halloween. So to celebrate, here are some of the highlights from that day. Unforgettable. I don't know if you noticed, but I was part of the Secret Service clan that day. All right, moving on then. It's time for our Have You Seen This segment. Here's a picture of somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? 
Send us an email next Monday telling us where it is, and we'll pick a random winner from all the correct responses to win this beautiful water bottle. Congratulations to our most recent winner, Ambrose Rehendren. Stop by the main office to pick up your prize. And that's a wrap for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to notify us about anything, shoot us an email at hhstv at hillers.org. And be sure to check out our webpage, hkm.tv slash hhstv, to see past episodes and special web-only content. For everyone here at HHSTV, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.